I'm Eric Matei from MateiRealty.ca. Welcome to another edition of Wednesday Wisdom. A lot of talk about condos this year. Uh, we have sold quite a few of them, and let me tell you, it's not been easy. The condo market has been difficult. It's fantastic for buyers, but for sellers' markets, it's not been easy. And the Globe and Mail has an excellent article by Shane Dingman. Uh, it was written on October 9th, Unsold Unit Single Trouble in Toronto Condo Land. And I want to thank my friend Jim for pointing out this article. The Globe does a great job with their real estate reporting. Frazier Wilson was a former senior vice president with a pre-construction sales expert, International Home Marketing Group. He states that we have to have more unsold inventory move in order to get the market balanced. And what does he mean by that? Well, the first thing is there's a predicament that's coming. There are 96,000 unfinished brand new units that are going to complete in the next three years. And they're going to be closing in a market that may not receive them the way they were when they were purchased. Remember, there's a very large window between when you buy new and sell new. So with those projects, when they were mostly sold in 2018 to 2022, you had a 20% default, which is a big number, really, when you think about it. On 100,000 sales, 20,000 people don't close. But if the market's escalating, the builder doesn't mind or they'll deal with the default rate by either reselling them to established clients or putting them back on the resale market. However, right now, there's a lawyer, as mentioned in this article, named Mark Morris, who states that we're in a pain cycle. Lenders don't feel that pain as much because they have provisions to deal with it. However, builders are starting to feel the pain as the, the, the defaults are increasing and the costs have to be absorbed by them. Consumer pain, according to the article, began right when rates started increasing, which also killed, by the way, the assignment market. If you don't know what that is, it's like a futures in uh, stock trading. I buy a condo in paper, it's ready in three years, but a year into it, I flip the paper on what the condo could be worth. It's not easy to get financing for that, it's difficult. And when the market's doing this, it's very difficult to sell a future. So the assignment market's really calmed down. Um, here's an example that he uses in this article. Center Court Developments has 40 claims in Toronto Civil Courts for repayment of losses for people who didn't close their new condo purchase. One such claim is for a property that was sold in 2020 who agreed to purchase the unit at 199 Church and they are seeking $534,000 in damages. The article goes on to mention, just because you're not seeing lawsuits right now, doesn't mean the builders aren't doing their part. They can sue up to two years after their losses are crystallized. So if you bought a new condo in 2020, you were supposed to close this year and you didn't, the builder can go through the whole cycle of closing at whatever price and bring those crystallized losses to civil court to seek damages up to two years after. Again, in hotter markets, you would have a, a situation where you could unload the inventory. That's not the case right now with these condos. And all of this discussion here about new condos, 96,000 in inventory, what does that have to do with my expertise, which is resale? When you have inventory like that on the new market, of course, it's going to have a deleterious effect on rising inventory and lack of movement on condos in the resale end. As I mentioned earlier, we've been selling a lot of resale condos this year, and we're working our best with our customers and clients that we have right now to do the same, but it's not been easy. And it's not the fault of the resale market. The government keeps professing that we don't have enough inventory. Well, how many 500 square feet, one bedroom units can you build? There's 96,000 of them coming up in the next three years. So in a market where demand is quelled because of lack of financing, it becomes evident that certain product doesn't have the demand that quite a few resale products can offer. So the idea would be that hopefully in the next little while, some of this inventory is balanced out and demand evens out again. But in the interim, if you have an opportunity, this is a great article. 
And I want to thank my friend Jim again for passing it along. It's bang on about what's happening in the condo market, how the new market issues are affecting the resale condo market. I'm Eric Matei from MateiRealty.ca. And if you'd like to reach me, you can email me at info at Have a great day.